It can take the U.S. government just minutes to launch a nuclear weapon. Here's how it would work. The president has the sole authority to call for a nuclear strike. Once the call is made, a series of critical steps follow. The president first meets with top military advisors. The meeting would take place in the Situation Room. If the president is traveling, a call is made on a secure line. If the president still wants to go through with the strike, the order is verified. To authenticate the order, a challenge code is read to the president. It's usually two phonetic letters, like Delta Echo. The president then receives the biscuit, a laminated card that's always near the president. The biscuit has the matching response to the challenge code. The Pentagon then broadcasts an encoded message to missile crews. The message is only about the length of a standard tweet. It includes the war plan, sealed authentication system or SAS codes, and the actual missile launch codes. When the launch crews get the message, they open lock safes to obtain the SAS codes. These codes are compared with the SAS codes included in the message. If fired from a submarine, the captain, executive officer, and two others authenticate the launch order. 15 minutes after receiving the order, the missiles could be ready to launch. If fired from land, there are 50 missiles controlled by five launch crews in different locations. Each crew votes for the launch by turning their keys at the same time. There are five different keys, but only two need to be turned to launch the missiles. In this scenario, the missiles could be ready to launch just minutes after the president's order. Once the missiles are launched, there's no turning back.